today was the Flip app, which I think is fabulous. Um, let's just go back to the main screen. Um, there's Flip and there's Rebe. There might be other ones too. Um, those are the two that I know of. Um, the Rebe one I don't love as much uh, just because of the um, clipping um, option in this one. I like it way better. So to start off with, um, in the top right hand corner, you'll see that if you click on the postal code, you can either locate me or you can type here and put in your own postal code. Once your postal code is in, it will find the flyers for your area. So these are the flyers for my area. So start off with featured up at the top here. And this will show you all the flyers in the area. Um, you can go A to Z. You can look at all the flyers um, alphabetically. Uh, you can click on latest to just see the flyers that are the newest ones and also the preview ones starts tomorrow. So there you have atmosphere one that starts tomorrow. Um, sports check starts tomorrow. Okay. And then this little heart one here, these are all the flyers that I actually want to look at on a regular basis. So let's go back to featured. And what you do is you click on Cooper's Foods and you see the little heart in the top here. Normally the heart is light colored. So if you click on it, then the heart is colored in and then that means it will show up in your heart, your area where you have all your favorite stores. So in this area, I just have the kind of grocery-ish type flyers that I use regularly in here so that I can compile my list uh, quickly and I can look through things quite quickly. All right, so now that I have my favorites, I go into Cooper's Foods, for example, and I look at the stewing beef and think, wow, that's a fantastic deal on stewing beef. I gotta get that. You just do one click on it and it circles it for you. You can look through the flyer by sliding your uh, finger to the left and just peek through, find all the things that you want. Um, these buy one, get one freeze, I often will circle them so that I can go and check out the price. Um, and I did actually check out the price yesterday. The Imperial Margarine is no good. The price at Safeway is $2.99, so way better price than um, it was here. I think it worked out to $3.99 a box, but I'm not positive. I can't remember, but I just know it was um, more than what Safeways is. And the hash browns were $3.19 for a kilogram. So you would get two kilograms for $3.19, which is a good deal. I would have bought it. However, it has weed in it, so uh, I'm going to have to pass. But that's all you do. You click on it once to circle it, click on it again to uncircle it. That's all there is to it. All right. So if you click the back button and you look down at the bottom of the screen, um, unfortunately, there's this watermark here because I'm just trialing the reflector. Um, so sorry about that. But you can see in the corner here, clippings. I'm just going to click on clippings. And if you click on clippings, it shows me a list of all the things that I clipped. And they all have a little picture icon. Remember the Cooper's Foods? There it is right there. If I click on it, it'll show it to me right in the flyer. If I want to see it a little closer up, I can do that. Click back and it'll take me right back to the clippings app. So here when I get to the store, I can really quickly see what things I was looking for. It even has a little coupon section. You see the coupon here? This is for the $1.50 off the Lucerne milk that's on this week. And I have a chance to print the coupon if I want to, which I don't because that one is in the Safeway flyer. Um, and, but if it's something else, they've also got a coupon matchup area. Again, at the bottom here, you see flyers and then you see coupons. If you click on coupons, um, it does a coupon matchup. Right now I'm in baby. So we'll just go to all deals. So it, you can see that they have gone and found the best price or best advertised price. These are only things that are actually advertised that go in here. So for example, uh, the Mazzola oil, it's $3.99 at London Drugs this week and there's a dollar off coupon. So if I wanted to, I could click on print the coupon 
and print that coupon and take it with me to the store. Also, it's always a good idea to just double check. I know at one of the apps at one point in time had Missoula oil too. I think it might have been Checkout 51, I'm not positive. But then you could double dip and get it even cheaper. Like I said up here, you can make it into, um, narrow it down. So let's say that you were looking, I, I showed you baby. So then it just narrows it down to just the few baby items. Um, you could click on grocery and then it will only show you grocery items. There. Um, household. It'll just show you what it figures is household. Uh, health and beauty. I'm kind of skipping around. There. Okay. Just gives you an example of what, um, how that all works. The search button down here, you can click on, let's say I wanted to search for Food for Less store. Click on that, I see that it's not um, available, so that means that there probably isn't one in my area, but maybe there is. Um, I could click on this Add button here, and they would add it to my, um, the flyer, to, uh, sorry, they would add it to the uh, app as soon as, they got the flyer in um, to their database and they're really good about that I actually at the beginning when they were first starting out I added lots of them and uh, and they were added quite quickly so there you go that's just a quick overview of how the flip app works and it's another tool to help you save money and I hope that helps